Yeah, hello. What's good, virtual boy? Roman Puss here with some more OPBR. Now, today we're going to be going over boss battle. Now, I've been very annoyed, and I we got the new Douglas Bullet boss battle, which we're going to have Stampede events. Be sure to watch out. I'm going to be doing a leaks video on what we have for the current leaks and stuff, because we will be getting Stampede Boa potentially very soon. So watch out for that. But overall, I just kind of wanted to go over how you should do this direct boss battle now this in case at lower levels at level like 23 for example lower level for my current standing some of you this may be kind of higher level level but for your current standing if you are fighting a lower level boss usually you won't have troubles and you won't have to worry about technique but when you're fighting a higher level boss you'll generally want to take that into consideration and watch out for that so just keep that into consideration as we're going now i'm going to kind of discuss how you should do it and i actually did a run through a playthrough on here of how you should do it now this is an easy run through let's actually run through a pure example of the correct way to do this when you're fighting douglas boreto all right now here we go we got our boy i obviously you want to match your color appropriately if they're blue you want to go green if they're red you want to go blue if they're gr green you want to go red that's it so first off you make sure you get them off the flag so you can take the flag now i'm what jack so i can knock him off if i choose to he obviously jumped off the flag so i didn't need to waste my skill that right there hit the barrels you have those barrels for a reason you want to drag him over to a barrel and then you want to hit them see these barrels right here i don't hit them intentionally you don't want to hit them until douglas bullet is within range of their explosion now we actually popped one already which made his shield go down quicker so that's how we were able to bamboozle him like that now as you can see the flag generally it's ideal to try and take the flag when he's close to being his shield is being close to being broken and then you can do that together. So when his shield is broken, and then you can take the flag, and you can wail on him while he's down as well. Watch out when he uses this ability because he's going to explode, and he can explode the barrels as well. So he may be able to explode extra barrels and may waste them. So watch out for that. That is potential. Maybe it's not always your teammates. But we actually do this really well. We're actually He's in range of that, so I hit the barrel. Boom, his shield just goes gets destroyed, which actually works out really well. I obviously, try not to die. I did die here on whatchamacallit Drac. I don't know why I can never remember his name but see here's where we want to do it if you can get the gather up here emote it works the best but generally someone will have a red eyes on them a bullet usually will follow one enemy or something he's over by this other barrel we can just sit here and pop this right here Lucy actually misses that. I think he actually tries to hit that boom now I hit myself here but it's instant break on the shield and you instant just gets to destroy him easily now try to maintain the combo as well but as like this is obviously only a boss rank level 23 keep that in mind like when we're dealing with this right so this is only a boss rank level 23 if you're dealing with a boss rank 30 sometimes those barrels are like literally absolutely necessary to where you're going to want that so focus on gathering bullet towards the barrels you want to make sure you maintain keeping the flag on your side and hold that and make sure it's yours generally there's a lot of units who actually excuse me have knockbacks on them so He's not nearly as difficult as he used to be, but watch out. Just, when you are fighting level 30s, it does become a little more annoying to fight. Some teammates don't do like don't know how to correctly play it, and so they won't actually collect him on the flag accordingly, appropriately, how you want him to be there. So watch out for that. Collect him. Gather him to the barrels. Explode the barrels. Break the shield. You get a free win. It just goes over instantly, easily. I promise you it makes life 10 times easier than what you're dealing with now. So just watch out for that. This is just something that drove me nuts when I'm playing through this. Now you are dealing with teammates who aren't always going to be listening. But if you can be playing with allies or team up and sni try and snipe with people that you know of, this is just kind of an example. So this is kind of mainly for you newer players, out newer players out there dealing with boss battle. This is kind of the only boss battle who's this kind of intricate per se. But yeah he's kind of the only one with this kind of knack to him so overall i just wanted to cover this i hopefully this is helpful to some newer players if and then my veteran players i'm sure most of you kind of know this or just have good enough like teams where it doesn't really matter if you have a good enough strong enough team it usually doesn't matter but a lot of you newer players don't have a strong support and don't have like that high of level like units are maxed out at all so just watch out for that i just wanted to hit on this and dab on this so hopefully this is helpful to some of you if not that's okay too but let me know what you guys think how do you guys enjoy the boss battles is it one of your favorite challenge battles or is it not also which challenge battle is your favorite there's a bunch of different boss battles and different challenge battles so let me know who's your favorite down below that's all i have for you guys i'm a boy roman puss and i'm gonna be taking off yeah holy peace beautiful people